see some ladies chillin'. I see that girly I've been plotting to get at you got EA Sports welcomes you to another great NFL matchup. Tonight's game features two teams, each hungry for a win. Glad you could join us as the Browns match up against the Steelers. We're here for another great game. Welcome to the action. I'm Al Michaels, my partner, John Madden. When you look at how good an offense is, it all starts with a quarterback. They can do a lot more things with this guy throwing the football for him. He can make the touch passes or just fire one of the old bread basket if he has to. The Steelers have a few receivers that he likes to throw to, and here's one of them. There's no question these two have developed that chemistry, and he's always finding an open spot on the defense to give his quarterback a target to hit. It wouldn't be surprising to see them hook up a few times in this one. This is a team that plays as one unit out there, and they're proving it right now. Look at them. They're all jumping up and down at the same time. Now let's go to midfield for the game's coin toss. Both teams ready for... Let's get back to the action on the field. Number 10 will be, will be kicking off. off to start the game. Number 44, back to nice the kick. Plenty of distance. <laughs> Taking the knee might have been the better option there. You know, these guys come flying down the field so fast, and this time he ran right into one of those coverage guys. Number 13. With a man in motion. Pressure. Throws it. And he hits his receiver. The receiver did a nice job creating some separation, enabling him to make the reception. The defense needs to keep track of that guy a little better. He can make that kind of grab anytime. Calling an audible now. The Browns using motion. Brown. Brown couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. And they get off their blocks very quickly. Makes it tough to find openings when you're running the ball. Good matchup today. One of the best quarterbacks in the league taking on one of the toughest defenses. Now defensively here, John, what do you think they're thinking? Well, I think they're going to have to shut down those short slant routes and deep outside corners first. Force the offense to throw short and over the middle. Let your big hitters make those wide receivers think twice. Number 13. Flings that pass in there. Now that is a great throw. The quarterback surveyed the field, found the open guy, and got the ball to him in a hurry. Using motion. <laughs> Stepping up. Gets rid of it. With the adjustment, he has it. How about that speed? Great individual effort. Not only did the quarterback show off his strong arm, but the receiver displayed some amazingly soft hands. A great throw with an even better catch is always an easy way to pick up first down. Set. 
Brewer moves in motion. Crosses it left. Brown couldn't even get out of the backfield. This defense is extremely active and effective up front. They do a good job of getting upfield quickly, creating havoc in the backfield. Misdirection plays and draws could be a good way to use their speed and aggressiveness against them. Only one man in the backfield. He sees something in the defense. Four, maybe five yards on the counter. These short yardage conversions really allow you to control the tempo. You need to get this one. Third and four. Ball on the 46-yard line. Man in motion. Dropping back. Slings it to the outside. They've got something going here. Yeah, it's been one first down after another. They're putting together a nice looking drive here. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him, directing traffic. Number 13 sends a man in motion. Gain of two. Be aware of the pressure here. If you feel the heat, you got to make quick decisions. Just make sure they're good. Using motion. Pressure coming. Looking for an option. Throwing. This one falls incomplete. The tight end was right there, but he just couldn't get that pass under control. I don't know what happened there. The quarterback did his job delivering a catchable ball. He just couldn't come up with it. Closing in. Scrambling. And take off. He has room. The 30. Trying to avoid the hit by sliding feet first. Use some motion to throw off the defense. Don't let him get too comfortable. He sees something in the defense. The Browns using motion. Three, maybe four yards on the misdirection play. Spread the ball around and make sure the defense knows that they have to cover every receiver. Drops back, under pressure, rowing. A lot of room to work with. Again and again, it's another first down. Yeah, and this offense has really impressed me on this drive. They've been moving the ball very methodically, and they're getting closer and closer to the end zone. Set. Looks like he's calling an audible. Let's go, come on. Using motion. Taken down in the backfield. He was met right at the line, might have even lost a little. That was a case of the defense getting under the pads of the offensive line. Usually the team that gets the best leverage is going to control the line of scrimmage. When you run it into the middle, you have to have some push or movement up front. If you can't get that movement, it makes things very difficult for your running back. Calling an audible. Man in motion. Russell read that play perfectly. They might have lost a couple. He didn't go for the misdirection at all. He followed the ball, so he got in there to make the play very quickly. Using motion. They're blitzing, looking for an option. Throws to the end zone. That pass was tipped away at the very last moment. You talk about a big play. Hey, you don't get any bigger than that. Number 76 comes out, hoping to put points on the scoreboard for the first time. 
and it's on its way. A nice kick, and it's good. Here's the kickoff team. And he got all of that one. A great kick. From the two. The offense heads out onto the field for the first time. This is a good defense to call. First and ten. Harris, the deep back. Ball on the 26-yard line. Going to the air on first down. What a collision. Decent game, about four. This defense looks good. The backs are lined up in an eye. back finds his way into the open field and picks up the first down. And what happened was they missed him with the blitz. And when they did that, there were no linebackers to converge. And that's how he got by the first down marker. They got no Bradshaw gets set. To the air on first down. Gets the pass off. The rush was on, but it's a nice game thanks to a nice throw. Yeah, he read the defense and he got out of there quickly. But you got to give some of the credit to the receiver in this play. He saw the blitz was coming, and he made the right read so the quarterback had something to throw to. With the throw, behind him, and he has it. Great play there by Swan. And that's the type of thing that can happen when you get this guy the ball. He's going to move the ball, and he's going to move it with speed. This is the fifth play of this drive. Harris fakes the handle. Rosen, the 10. Touchdown, Steelers. Just an incredible pass by the quarterback. The quarterback had an open lane to throw the pass, and he got it in there for a touchdown. So they're trying to tack on the extra point. And it's up. The point after is good. And so a big drive for this offense as they put together a nice string of plays that takes them down the better part of the field for the touchdown. And give some credit to that big offensive line. Those guys are working hard out there and it's showing on drives like that. The offense ready to go again after their last possession resulted in a field goal. Number 13. With a man in motion. Dropping back pass on first down. Gets the pass off. Second down of coming after that incomplete pass. Get behind those big old linemen and let them do their work. Only one man in the backfield. Calling an audible. Pressure. Surveying the field. With the throw. Well, he might have rushed that pass a little bit, but he's happy with the result. Yeah, I'd say. The defense was blitzing, so he knew that he had to get it out of there pretty quickly. And he did that connecting with his man for a pretty good pickup. The teams has switch sides, and we'll start in the second quarter. Third and four. Ball on their own 28. Using motion. Drops back, pressure coming, good play in the backfield. That's the first time he's brought the quarterback down tonight. Cut it away. So they'll line up the punt after going three and out. Here's the punt. Fair catch. There was no need to try and return that one. So he made the right decision there. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Pass play here on first down. Closing in. The blitz worked to perfection. The defense loves to bring extra rushes from all over trying to create pressure. 
Obviously, they'll have to make some adjustments to their protection scheme to prevent plays like that. Now they're looking at second and long after the sack. Is that all you got? Set. Huh. 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 Makes the toss to the left. Breaks the tackle. Breaks free. Good game there, and a first down. If the defense keeps giving up runs like that for first down, they'll have to make some adjustments to slow this guy down. Eagle left. Gets rid of it, and it's caught. Runs over the tackle. Bradshaw hit his target, and they have a first down. This guy makes the tough catches look easy. Excellent. This is a good one to call. They line up in the I formation. Get at it. Get the ball. Get the ball. Throw. Throw. Bulldog under. Under pressure. Throwing. Behind him. He has it. So they're able to pick up another first down. And this offense is clicking. They're making the right calls at the right time. All over that one. He just stepped in front of that one. He saw his opportunity, and boom, he took it. Following the interception, it's now first and ten. Set, three, Number 13, yeah, directing three, traffic. 74. Man three. in motion. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. Pickup of about a yard in the run. Second and nine coming up here. Collins goes in motion. With the pass, thrown behind, but caught. The 40. That reception moves the chains, and they pick up a first down. And as a receiver, you have to be ready for any type of pass. He did a good job of hanging on to that last one, because it got there in a hurry. Brewer moves in motion. Cross play to the left. He goes down at the 47. Picks up maybe three on that count. Number 13. Directing traffic. Using motion. About a one-yard loss. You got a ways to go for the first down. So you're going to need a little time back there in that pocket. Calling an audible now. Third and nine. Ball on the 45-yard line. Man in motion. Drops back. Gets the pass off. He has some room. And he's ridden out at the 37. Be patient out there. When you see an opportunity, that's when you attack. But don't force it. It's rid of it. It's going the other way. Breaking through. Can't back him up. Edwards was in great position for that pick. I don't think the receiver did enough to try and break that one up. So after the reception now, it's first and ten. They'll go from the I formation. First and ten. Passing on first down. Pressure rolling. Incomplete. Look at the big old defensive line. Does a heck of a job of getting in the passing lane and knocking down the pass. Set. 
pressure coming. This pass is incomplete. Not much touch on that pass. He may have tried to put a little too much oomph on that throw. Ball on the 34-yard line. We'll see. Bradshaw gets set. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. Almost intercepted. They're lucky that one wasn't picked off. Yeah, I think everyone else was thinking the same thing. We don't get a better chance at an interception than he had right there. Number 39 lines up in the backfield for the puck. Here's the kick. He loses it. The Browns grab the line ball. Keep the defense guessing. Don't forget to use misdirection and play action to keep them off balance on passing down. Closing in. Two for an option. Rolling right with the throw. It's going the other way. The offensive line couldn't do the job. Pressure forced him to make a damn throw in the coverage. That's exactly what happened out there. He felt the rush coming, and he was coming so fast that he threw it up for grabs, and he paid for it. I'm sure that he Got wished it. he had that one back as soon as he let it go. Off to the tailback. Four, maybe five on the draw play. This play might work. They're within striking distance here. Cleveland looking for pass with only three down linemen and seven DBs on the field. Third down upcoming after that incomplete pass. They'll go with the quarter defense. Swan in motion. You'll see. Buster's great. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. Right to him. Good route running by the receiver who was right there to make the catch. That one was all about timing. The quarterback let it go, and the receiver looked back just at the right time. Number 10. Looking to make a good kick here. The kick is up. The kick sails through. It's good. Here's the kickoff team. He gets the kick away. From the four-yard line. The 30. The 40. Lays into him with a stiff arm. This guy always seems to find a lane when he's returning kicks. I'll tell you, he got a couple of key blocks, and he found enough room to set him up with good field position. He'll go from the eye formation. Pickup of about a yard in the run. Pull the screen out. Make sure you give him time to set up before you throw it out there. Only one man back. Traffic. Brewer, the motion man. Three, maybe four yards on the misdirection play. Take what you can get on this pass play, but don't fight for extra yards. You need to get out of bounds. Number 36 goes in motion, dropping back, under pressure, looking for an option, gets rid of it, he has some room. The 40. Perfect pass leading to extra yardage after the catch. The receiver found a seam in the defense allowing him to make the catch and pick up some extra yardage before the defense was able to catch him. Changing the play now. That's just great play from the defense. They play with great leverage up front and always seem to get penetration. When you have defenders in the backfield, it makes it very difficult to run or pass. Pressure, looking for a receiver. 
The defense can breathe a little easier right now. Life is always a little easier on the defensive side of the ball when the offense is looking at third and long. They're looking now at third and long after the sack. They've done very well on third down to this point. Number 13 with a man in motion. Steps up, surveying the field. Rolling right, throws it, and he's ridden out at the nine. He'll come out on first down, and we'll try to make this red zone visit a successful one. It appeared he did a great job of keeping his balance along the sidelines. Yeah, and the only question is, did he step out? That's what I think they're looking for in the booth. It was unclear initially why they called for a review, but now we understand the reason. You have to give it to these officials. Their job's not easy. Sometimes they make mistakes, and most of the times they're right. So the punt team gets ready as we near halftime. A lot of hang time, but not very deep. Andy waves for the fair catch. Give this one a shot. Hit him low. Bring the pain. Stay after him. You got it. To carry it. Harris showed he could do more than just cover on that one. Hey, he sure did. When you get a corner who will come out like that on run support, it makes the offensive coordinator think twice on those runs to the outside. Since they're probably just going to run it out to keep the clock moving, the defense should bring up the safety, putting eight men in the box, unless they see the offense come out in a passing formation. Hand it off again. Good gain of about seven on that play. Seven yard gain. This is a good defensive ball. Again with the carry. The Browns call a timeout. They have one left. Number 27 sets up, waiting for the punt. Here's the punt. From the 42-yard line, he had a good return. Boy, the coverage team is going to need to do better because he could take the next one all the way. One thing as a defender you want to avoid is trying to take a gamble for a turnover and then giving up a big play that lets them get points before the half. Rolling right, he passed looking for the end zone. The pass rolls incomplete. Looking for the touchdown on first down, but couldn't get it to his target. Pittsburgh looking for pass with only three down linemen and seven DBs on the field. Using motion. Pressure coming, surveying the field. It's the pass off. Number 13. Somehow got that pass off. Yeah, he felt those guys closing in and gunning the ball out of there. Man in motion. Slings it out left side. Perfect throw. The 20, the 10, 5. Touchdown, Brown. You better pick it here. So they're trying to tack on the extra point. And it's up. And he tacks on the extra point. Number 76. He's back and ready to put this one in the air.
booming kick downfield. He got all of it. This guy might have a strong arm, but I don't think we'll be seeing any type of Hail Mary. A simple run should get us to halftime. It's the toss to the left. Let's go to the locker room with the score even. Pittsburgh 10, Cleveland 10. And welcome back. As they line up to kick it off, we'll take a look at each team's stats through two quarters. He got all of that one. He'll choose to just down this one and start the 20. A smart coach would call this play. First and 10. Ball on their own 20. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Deep to the air on first down. Closing in. Throwing. He hits his receiver. Nice ball going to the air. That'll move the chain. Try this play. They line up in the I formation. Come on, Fire. Dropping that pass on first down. With the throw. Incomplete pass. Let's check in quickly with Melissa. I asked the head coach about the kinds of adjustments they made in the locker room. He told me that he felt his team was lucky to even be in this game. He was not happy with offensive or defensive execution in the first half at all, and he expected them to be more aggressive in all aspects of the game in the second half. Thanks for that report, Melissa. The throw for catch to move the chain. You know, as a receiver, all you have to do is get a step, and this guy's going to put the ball on it. The backs are lined up in an eye. Lewis in motion. Get in there. Throwing on first down with the pass, and the catch is made. Blitz almost got to him there, John. You don't always have to get to the quarterback when you blitz effective. Football's about rhythm and timing. Bringing extra guys that makes him throw the ball before he wants to can upset that timing. Cleveland comes out in a dime package. Ball on the 46 yard line. Under pressure, throws it. He finds his man. The little pass underneath will give them a fresh set of downs. Yeah, what I like about this quarterback is how much he'll hit the receivers in the numbers. He puts a ball where either his guy will catch it or no one will. Pressure with the throw. Incomplete pass. So he ends up overthrowing his target. That pass was clearly overthrown. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. They'll go from the I formation. Looking to run it here. And the halfback picks up about three. Bradshaw sets up. Dropping back. He's looking. Throwing. With the catch. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here. But this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. Give it all you got, D. Come on, Zach. Going to the air on first down. Flings it to the outside. A display of great hands on that catch. That receiver has all the tools. Second and seven. Ball on the 15-yard line. Man in motion. Ball on the 15-yard line. Eagle left. Harris, number 50, stops him for negative yardage. Couldn't find any success in the middle. Yeah, and he was looking for a place to cut back, but the defenders had all their gaps, and there was no place to cut at all. And this is the 11th play of this drive. The Browns call a timeout. They have two timeouts left. A lot of speed on the field for the defense as they line up in the quarter. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
surveying the field. Broken up. Here's what you do. You start pushing, and if you right. don't get to him, and you see him start to throw, you stop, and you get your hands up. And that's what gets you in those passing lanes, and that's how you knock the ball down. Number 10. Heads out to try this field goal. And it's on its way. The kick is good. No hesitation by the coach there, and he's rewarded by his kicker's second successful attack. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. And he got all of that one. Great kick. From the four. The Browns will start the drive from the 30. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 30. Number 13. Sets up. About a four yard gain there. Tell your line to protect here. Tell your line to protect every play, not just here. You need to get some time back there and let someone get open. Looks like he's calling an audible. The Browns using motion. Pressure coming, rolling. Incomplete. Brown was in perfect position and knocked that pass away. He's got great recovery speed. He can catch up to the ball even if he's caught out of position. That time he was right there in the secondary to tip the ball away. Set. Using motion. Right. Yeah. Drops back with the throw. Turns. He has it. The 40. Looking for leverage. To keep the drive alive on that catch by Collins. Yeah, and the quarterbacks have confidence throwing at this guy because he's got some of the most reliable hands in the team and probably in the league. Changing the play now. Man in motion. Lost about two yards. Follow your blocking on this run. When you see the lane open, just accelerate right through it. Yo, Number 13. Directing traffic. Number 36. Comes in motion. Another run. The 50. The 40. The 30. And he's knocked out of bounds at the 16. Okay, now you're close. Get even closer with this pass. First and 10. Ball on the 16 yard line. Man on motion. It's the heat. Ball dog under. Set. They'll pass on first down. He's looking, scrambling around, and he's brought down in the backfield. And the quarterback gets dumped for the sack. His receiver might have had a step to the outside. The rush got to him just before he could get rid of it. Second down, and he needs 15 for the first. Ball on the 21 yard line. Set. Come on, D up. Closing in, looking downfield, gets rid of it. The catch up, and he's brought down at the five yard line. This is it. Give the ball to your halfback, let him find the seam, and get into the end zone. It's first and goal, about five yards out. Dropping back, under pressure, surveys the field, throws it. Incomplete pass. Pass into the end zone is no good. The end zone's such a small area for all these players, it's always hard to throw in it. Pressure, flings it to the outside. He hits his receiver. Touchdown, Cleveland. He flips it in there for the touchdown. He sure did. The quarterback knew exactly where he was going to be and threw the ball right on target. Number 13 finds his man and throws his second touchdown of the game. 
The kicker lines up for the point after. And it's up. And he kicks on the extra point. Great drive that culminates in a trip to the end zone and gives them the lead. That's a big drive that they really needed. The score really swings momentum over to their side, giving them confidence that they can move the ball against this defense. Now it's up to their defense to keep the pressure on. Booming kick downfield. He got all of it. Just about ready for the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last drive. With the carry, he has down he goes at the 27. Running back six up about seven yards. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Drops back, pressure coming, gets the pass off, keeps his feet moving. How about that speed? Great individual effort. He throws lasers all over the field. He can throw them short, he can throw them long, he can throw them medium, he can throw them anywhere. Of five. The smart coach would call this play. Second and five. Ball on the 43 yard line. Gets the delayed handle. But the defender brings him down at the 42. The yard may be two on the carry. The backs are lined up in an eye. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. Third down is when you want your players to dig deep and make a clutch play. When you convert, it gives your defense a little extra rest, and it gives your offense a fresh set of downs to work with. Pick up of about five that produces a fresh set of downs. Yeah, and the offensive line did a pretty good job picking up the blitz, giving him the extra time he needed to find the hole. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. Sixth play of this drive. Man in motion. Harris. Gain of a couple on that carry. Give this one a shot. They need seven. Seventh play of this drive. Gets rid of it. Breaks free. The 20. Bradshaw with a good throw on that pass. Not only does he have a powerful arm, but he also has a quick release and accuracy to go along with it. Ain't got nothing. Walk out right. To the air on first down. Pass. Nice adjustment. He recognizes the blitz and gets the ball out for a first down. Yeah, he saw a good matchup. He made a heck of a throw to get the ball to his receiver. it out to the right to get the call again. Great play in the backfield by Paris. About a one-yard loss. This is what I would call in this situation. Harris. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. So they get in on the ground. Yeah, he knew where he wanted to go, and he got there. Number 10 comes in to attempt the point after. And it's on its way, and he tacks on the extra point. And obviously they're happy with that drive, especially since they ended it with a touchdown. They really were effective in what they were doing. When you can eat up that much time and drive the ball that far down the field and end up with six points, it's really disheartening to the defense. Great kick, John. He's proven he can get the job done on kickoffs. Wow, he got a lot of leg into that kick. They should have put the field goal net up for that one. Directing traffic. Man in motion. Carries it for six yards on that play. Be aware of the defensive set. You've got to take what they're giving you. Uh, 
Brown, the lone setback. Number 13. See something in the defense. Yellow. 58. Brewer comes in motion. And he's brought down in the backfield. What a play here. When you anticipate the snap count perfectly, this is what'll happen. And he was into the backfield on top of the quarterback before he could even get the handoff. Calling an audible. Closing in, gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. Right on the mark there to move the chains. And the thing is, the secondary looked a little on their heels on that one. They just couldn't converge on the ball in time. And now they get a whole new set of down. Number 13. With a man in motion. Calling an audible now. Green, 16. Yellow, 74. Green, 25. Slot. Down he goes at the 40. Runs up the middle. There wasn't much of a hole for him to slide through. The defense filled all those gaps, and the runner had nowhere to go. Looks like he's changing the play. The Browns using motion. So they'll lose yardage on that tackle by Lambert. And that's a loss of two. Big passing down right here. This is what it's all about. The Steelers line up in the quarter defense. On the 38 yard line. Warfield in motion. Steps up, looking for a receiver. And it's complete. Across midfield. That powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Yeah, and you talk about putting some heat on your throws. This guy really let it go. Using motion. They'll go with the run once again. Brown couldn't find an opening but was brought down very quickly. Yeah, he was. This line has to do a better job of holding up at the point of attack. He has a fast first step. He can explode through the hole. But he needs a line to create that little crease or cutback lane to break free. Man in motion. A yard, maybe two on the counter play. go back to the game. I know you hate these long yarded situations, but you really have to get this one. Three, Number 13. Yeah. See something in the defense. On the 42 yard line. Warfield comes in motion. <laughs> Lost about two yards. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. Man in motion. Drops back, flings it to the outside. A lot of space in front of him. I'll tell you, this has to be frustrating. Watch here, as it's a great situation for the defense. They think they've got him, and they're about to get the ball back. Then all of a sudden, he drops back to pass, and boom, they're moving the chain, and they're getting a whole new set of down. Using motion. Still running. Look at that power. Gets the call in the misdirection play and picks up about four yards. They need six. Changing the play yeah. back. Green, Green, the lone yeah. back. Blue, 16. Drop back. Drop. Red, 16. Hut. A yard, maybe two on the count. These short yardage conversions really allow you to control the tempo. You need to get this one. 13th play of this drive. Calling an audible now. Green, 58. Number 13. Sends a man in motion. It's 
and they pick up enough to convert for the first down. You need to play it a little safe here. Run the ball and pick up a few. You're almost there. You can't make any mistakes down here. So run the ball and just get it in there. So they have first and ten here. Ball on the 19-yard line. Looks like he's changing the play. Two minutes left. Smith in motion. And that's a gain of about eight. Number 13, yeah. directing traffic. Using motion. motion. Toss play to the right. Breaks three of the defenders. Great job running the toss on that play. And first down. Take what you can get on this pass play. But don't fight for extra yards. You need to get out of bounds. Come on, be up. Stay up. See what? Under pressure, he surveys the field with the pass, and it's caught. He throws a perfect strike. That was one heck of a throw. You could see him setting for the pass, then boom, it was gone. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the four-yard line. The Browns using motion. Rowing. And this pass is complete. Touchdown, Cleveland. And he slings it in there for the touchdown. That's just a quick move by the receiver and a pass that was right on target from the quarterback. So he found his target, and for the third time, it goes for a touchdown. So they'll try to tack on the extra point. And it's up, and the extra point is good. But John, these teams are very evenly matched. This makes for a better game, I think. The strategy of the game comes into play here more. He got all of that one. From the three-yard line. The offense with a lot of success through the air on the last drive as they move downfield for the touchdown. Bradshaw gets set. Passing on first down. Gets rid of it. This pass is incomplete. They don't have much of a choice now except to just throw one up and hope it gets them the touchdown. Stranger things have happened. Whether it's knocked down or caught, one of these teams will win when the clock hits zero. It's just a matter of which one makes the play. Pumps once with the pass. This one falls incomplete. Here we go. One last chance, and they have to come up with some kind of a miracle play to pull this one out. Surveying the field with a deep throw to the right side. Drops the interception. And will wrap this one up. And the final score is Cleveland 24, Pittsburgh 20. For EA Sports, this is Al Michaels and John Madden wishing you a very pleasant good evening. Here is tonight's horse trailer player of the game.